Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Windows to Heaven Art. This is the place where I'm all about how to get better as an artist. So you may have noticed that the last few videos I have put out are digital paintings. And that's because recently I've really been delving into the digital side of art, which I find is a lot like actually painting. So that's cool. Um, but it is very forgiving because if you do something you don't like, you can just go back. It is very easy to in that respect try things out see if it works you know and really just trial and error refine the image until you get something really boiled down that you like so it's really good in other words what I'm saying for planning so that's what I went ahead and did I painted a painting digitally that I knew I wanted to actually paint on a canvas so I'm just going to show you a few slides here of the picture that I planned out digitally you can see how I mapped out where the mountains should go, um, where you know the, the background, the foothills, the trees, the waterfall, where all that would end up in the foreground as well, but most importantly, the focal point, which is the castle. And I've kind of staggered it to be in a spot where I felt that it would really balance the painting in proportion to where the waterfall is and the foreground, etc. And I really did a lot of tweaking in the composition where I would try something and be like, oh, I don't really like that, so I'd go back and, and try something else until I got something that I really liked, and that is the benefit of doing digital planning for your paintings. Um, so I got something that I wanted here, and in the past, I have had to go through a little bit more of a tedious process of printing out the picture and then using graphite paper to transfer it onto the canvas uh, but then I would have to tone the canvas and toning the canvas with the turpentine would actually kind of break up the the pencil sketch you know the the graphite sketch that I had transferred um, so that wasn't ideal then I'd have to go back and sketch over it and it just kind of was a tedious process but I have a new method that I'm going to try out in this video uh, that's actually what the video is about um, is how to get a very specific sketch on to the canvas uh, because this this castle that we're going to do here is it's got a lot of lines and it's got it's it's very specific and I want to get it uh, as exact as I can get it um, so without further ado we're going to take this painting here that I did digitally you know and mapped out we're going to take that and we're going to transfer it exactly onto the canvas. And hopefully, it will go good. So, how do we do it? This is how we do it. So... I'm going to hook up this projector, get everything all set up, learn how to use it so that I can project my painting with the castle onto the canvas and then just sketch it directly on. I plug everything in, hook it up to the uh, computer there uh, using the HDMI cable. And then I get my flash drive into the computer so that I can access the image, turn the projector on, and turn out the lights. Yeah. 
So now comes the time to test it out. So I get the image up. And there it is. That's how it looks on the toned blank canvas. So at this point, I started to, you know, move the picture around just so that I could get it exactly where I want it on the canvas. And I, and I did have to um, manipulate the, the size and also the angle at which the projector um, projected the image onto the canvas had to uh, really go and tweak kind of the angle of even the easel there. Um, and these two brushes are the brushes that I'm going to be using with some just some burnt sienna paint to sketch the image on. Which went actually quite a bit better than I could have asked for. It really was nice. It really worked out quite smoothly so I would definitely for anybody that wants to try this recommend it 100% it really streamlined the process of getting an image exact onto your canvas so like I was saying I used burnt sienna um, which is actually the same type of paint that I used to tone the canvas with. So I just used burnt sienna and a little bit of turpentine to, uh, to sketch this in here. Definitely works a lot better than the alternative for me, which was the graphite paper. Not to mention, this went quite a bit quicker, I believe, than, than the whole graphite process, which you guys, you know, if you watch my videos, have seen me do in the past. So after I got everything completed, this is the image that I ended up with on the canvas, ready to be painted. As always, it was nice to do this video. I had you guys out with me in the studio today. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Uh, I try to do a video every week or so. Um, I would like to actually do the next video on actually painting the painting. So maybe I'll just do a time lapse for you guys on me finishing this castle painting. Should be a lot of fun. Until next time though, God bless you guys. We'll see you later.